I'm returning to Colombia to spend one week in the city of Medellin. So this is Comuna 13 and at one point this was the most dangerous barrio in all of Latin America. Making friends with Santiago, he'll be showing me around the central highlights and also taking me to the must-sees outside of the city. Hey, my name is Santiago. Check this beautiful country and city. I'm excited to learn more about what makes this country so unique, from its culture to the infamous, and of course, some fun in between. Guerreros is the typical people in Colombia coffee region. I think it's really setting me up to work here. Hey, friend, you is bad worker. Pick up more quantity, please. All right, go. This is how you do it. We're going to be doing a Pablo Escobar tour. Look. That's the Pablo's house. What are the odds we found someone who works for a family member of Pablo Escobar? That's the way the Pablo took to escape. One gun and Piedra de El Peñol in Guatapé. 740 stairs to the top. This is what I'm talking about. We are here at Doradal. Alto, la izquierda para derecha. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad. <laughs> so brace yourselves for this travel documentary. Great experience. So <laughs> disgusting. So this is going to be my second visit to Colombia and I'm really excited for a couple of reasons. The first being the obvious is that I absolutely loved my first trip there. The city, the people, the food, the vibe, everything about it was fantastic. And not only is it one of my favorite trips that I've done so far, it happens to be one of my favorite videos that I've created. And because of that video, I received a lot of subscribers from Colombians thanking me for showcasing their country in a beautiful way. But I also received the comments saying that you went to Cartagena, Bogota, and Santa Marta, which you didn't visit Medellin, which happens to be one of the best cities in Colombia. So that's what I'm doing now. 2020 was going to be the beginning of me creating more videos by adding on smaller trips in between my larger ones, starting with Medellin, Colombia. So what I'm going to do is give myself a week, which is more like nine days, to explore what's available within and outside of the city. So there really isn't much left to say or do other than packing my bags, making my way there, and getting this trip started. So I'll see you there. It'll be a seven hour flight flying from New York City into Panama, then arriving in the city of Medellin in Colombia. Made it back to Colombia. Oh, it's raining. Oh, I hope this doesn't continue on for the rest of the trip. All right, get our first look of Medellin. North, south. Unfortunately, because of the weather, my first look into the city was invisible. So we decided to pack up and return later in the day. Okay, day number one of Medellin. Just got to my Airbnb. Showered and changed, ready to head back out. I'm going to be meeting back up with Santiago, who's going to show me some of the central areas of the city. What's up, Santiago? Hey, 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 my name is Santiago. I am from here, from Medellin. I've been living here my whole life. This is my city, and if you want to visit us, just come here and check this beautiful country and city. We were headed to Community 13, a neighborhood that has become somewhat of a highlight and urban city attraction. I smell something really good, so I'm gonna try this. What's it called? Buñuelo. With cheese and without cheese. Buñuelo. Buñuelo. Mm. Good start to the day. This is in the middle of the Comuna, and now it's something special, really special here. Thank you, man. Enjoy this part. Yeah, well, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much, bro. Okay, so this is Comuna 13, and at one point, this was the most dangerous barrio or ghetto 
in all of Latin America and it's remarkable how they've transformed this place into an actual marketable tourist attraction. What they've done is set up these escalators that takes you up to the top of the barrio but the reality is it is a ghetto so if you do come stay within this area because if you start wandering off beyond that point that's when things get a little bit risky. <laughs> Welcome to Rio Space. Nice, thank you. Really good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, the store, my home. ¿Cuánto tiempo lleva acá? Uh, 40 years. 40? 40 años, 40 years. See you later. Security, do not enter this escalator. We left Community 13 to see a different side of town, one not so flooded by the tourism hype. We are going to take the metro cable from this station. This is the last station of the metro. It connects with the metro cable of San Javier. San Javier is like a neighborhood. All right, we're taking public transportation, so we do have to wear the masks. This is San Javier, the last station of the metro. Are you watching that? Yep. Helps a lot of people, thousand people of the Medellin of the city. You can imagine this. You're walking up this mountain. No, so hard. Stark contrast from what we saw in the other place. Even though there is poverty in that place, you can see the difference. I want that key. Y este botón. Un dedo, un dedo, que te dice. Tú mi cara. Firmale la cara, que se le vea la cara. Eso, así. Si ves, ahí sí se está viendo. Ah, yeah. good job. Yeah. Y si la volteas y la pones así, te ves tú. Ah. Muestra. Sí. Hello. Di hola. Hola. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Cámara. ¿Tu nombre? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Luciana. 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 Beautiful name. Qué nombre tan lindo tienes. <laughs> ¿Cuántos años tienes? Cinco. Sí. Porque cumplí años. Five years old? Five years old. Nice to meet you, Luciana. Bye, guys. Hasta luego. Hasta So, you saw Comuna 13, which was very vibrant and very touristy. And now we just checked out the barrio of San Javier, which was not a tourist attraction. As a matter of fact, Santiago and I just took the cable car up there and came back down. There was one part where the cable cars opened up and you went down and you can definitely see the stark contrast in the living conditions in Colombia. And that's basically how most Colombians commute in their day-to-day -day lives. Definitely interesting to see. The following day started heading two hours outside of Medellin to the town of Guatapé. That is a view. That is a view. The view on, on the top of the rock. We are on the way to Guatapé, like 15 minutes from Guatapé. Piedra de El Peñol, in Guatapé. Ooh, that is beautiful. Good morning, guys. All right, so we are at Guatapé with Santiago, and this happens to be his favorite place. Yes, you said this one is of my favorite, favorite place? places here in Antioquia. Yeah, you need to visit here. And then we're going to be climbing up that rock. 740 stairs to the top. 740 steps, all right. How do you feel? Are you ready to climb 740 <laughs> stairs? No, but we're gonna do it. Let's go, let's do it. <laughs> the adventure. The adventure begins. Step number one. <laughs> to give you the stress to make it up. <laughs>
そうですね。ちょっと<笑>です。Just up there is the rock that we climbed up earlier. It's called El Peñol. Look, that's the Pablo's house. I don't remember, remember the correct word, the how is that, that name? Antena. It's for Pablo to work with, to work better, you know? He's uh, with, evading the police. Mm. So that is Pablo Escobar's house. Or at least one of them. Yeah, like three houses, but that's one of、uh, Pablo Escobar's houses. Thank you, take care. Bye bye. Great experience. We spent the rest of the day wandering around the town of Guata Bay and learning what makes it so colorfully unique. This is the famous town of Guata Bay. It's recognized because all of the Spains. Of the Spains, the name is so colorful. It's really cultural and really traditional here. All the Spain. Each house has its own paint and all is made by hand. Good morning, guys. Day number three of、uh, Medellin, Colombia. And today, what I'm doing is something a little bit different. We are in the barrio of Los Olivos. We're going to be doing a Pablo Escobar tour. I know nothing about Pablo Escobar other than what you kind of see in、um, shows like Narcos, which, by the way, Colombians dislike because it depicts them in a very negative light. But the reality is, is that he is a very influential and significant figure in Colombian history. So today, what we're going to be doing is seeing the jail cell and the cemetery. Some of the properties, and we're starting with this house right here, which he was murdered in in December 2nd of 1993. Now, it's not a tourist attraction, you can just pass by it. It's not like a tour thing where you're gonna get any history about it, but it's also for sale. So, if you wanna buy the house that Pablo Escobar was murdered in, it's for sale. Okay, so our second stop is we are now in the cemetery where Pablo Escobar and his family lie. Fortunately, we came across a gentleman to give us knowledge on the infamous family. This is Federico. Federico, Federico yeah. He said he worked with the family of、uh, Pablo Escobar. One of, of the cousins of Pablo. My name is Federico. Federico, he's Federico. Bueno, tenemos a Don Pablo. Nació el primero de diciembre de 1949 y murió el 2 de diciembre de 1993. Tenía 44 años cuando murió. Este es el hermano, el menor, el niño. 
el que se mató el brother el que se mató un accidente un carro que le regaló car accident está la nana la del servicio que los cuidaba ellos cuando estaba el niño está la mamá murió en el 2006 y era profesora en el municipio de Envigado tía de don Pablo hermana de la mamá este es Álvaro Jesús Agudelo le decían Limón el que murió con él Diciembre 2 de 1993. Sigue Juan Manuel Escobar, tío de Don Pablo, hermano de Don Abel, que es el papá. El papá murió en el 2001 y el 25 de octubre estuvo de aniversario, 19 años de muerto. Cuando yo trabajaba con ellos me tocó pegarlas a mí. Quiero tener un recuerdo de la hacienda Nápoles. Vamos con Don Gustavo que manejaba todos los negocios de Don Pablo. Estos son los primos de Don Pablo. Pablo Scofins. Y él manejaba todos los negocios de Don Pablo, plata, fincas y todo, Don Gustavo Gaviria. Gustavo Gaviria fue el de Don Pablo. On charge of everything of Pablo. Agosto 11 del 90 lo mataron, tres años antes de Don Pablo. Y este es Gustavito, hijo de Don Gustavo que lo mataron el mismo día de Don Pablo. Diciembre 2 de 1993, pero en la mañana y a ellos en la tarde. Perfecto. Chao, hasta luego. Chao, Muy bien. Bye. Muchas gracias por todo. Yes. That couldn't have turned out any better. Like, what are the odds that when we arrived here, we found someone who works on the premises that used to work for a family member of Pablo Escobar, and he was just loaded with information. So rather than just coming here and looking at the plaques, we actually got a little bit of a history lesson. <sighs> amazing. Really amazing. The rain came upon us as we entered our last and most peculiar stop of the day. ¿Cómo está mi gobierno? Ah, bueno. ¿Hay algún problema de dar la vueltita? Y se puede subir hasta allá, mira. Pues solamente desde ahí para mirar. No, pero aquí no se puede, no. Tengo una silla ahí, no vea. ¿Qué pasa, Pablo? Allá. Oh, that's the bodyguard station, security yeah, station. Bodyguard and that, the way where Pablo escaped with Popeye. With that way, we can walk. Okay, so we've made it to the prison where Pablo Escobar was incarcerated, and it's called the Cathedral or Club Medellin. And the reason for that being is that even though he had an agreement with the Colombian government to do a five year sentence here, he had so much power and clout that he had this prison basically built for him with all the amenities of his choosing. So he had a jacuzzi, a playground, a waterfall, even a telescope that looked into the city to keep eyes on his daughter. And for the most part, the Colombian government were turning a blind eye to all of his drug trafficking and willing to accept these terms until he had four lieutenants murdered. And then they decided to put him into a real prison, which he was not happy about. So after a year and a half of doing his sentence, he and his right-hand man, known as Popeye, decided to escape. That's the way the public took to escape with Popeye. Up in the mountain, he walked like three days, and he was with Popeye. You know the guy that I told you, the right hand. When Pablo see the cops coming, hey, come on, let's go. With just the sneakers, one gun, and come on, let's go. Walking with like for three days. And he was never caught until December 2nd when he was uh, apprehended and assassinated or murdered. Now here's where the weird dynamic comes into play because despite his deeds, he was actually adored by a lot of the local Colombian people because essentially he employed them and supported them, building houses, schools, hospitals, and taking care of the community. And yeah, it's just kind of weird and crazy, but I'm glad I did this today. It was a really interesting day. Now we are at my family business, the restaurant, hamburger restaurant. What do you think about hamburger? Do you like it? I've been known to like a good hamburger here and there. The next morning started early, waking up at 5 a.m. and driving to a town three hours away for a fun day of outdoor activities. All right, good morning. We are here at Doradal, Antioquia, which is about two hours away from Medellin. And today we're gonna have ourselves a fun adventure day. We're doing some whitewater rafting here at Rio Claro, which means clear river. 
but you know, the river's not so clear right now because it's been raining for the last couple of days. But it's okay, we're still gonna have a really good time. And we are joined by the always guapo Santiago <laughs> and Melissa. Gang, all right, we're up. I don't know how I'm gonna film and do this at the same time. We'll figure it out. Alto, la izquierda para derecha, rema adelante, derecha, rema adelante, derecha, 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 solo la derecha, solo la derecha. more like a level one we had some some moments there but it was mostly a level one it was kind of just a chill just you know ride along just drifting now we get to ride a chiva back Made it back to try out another fun activity. Una, dos, tres. Woo! Una, Dos. <laughs> that, that's on video. Lisa, una, dos, tres, va. De una. <laughs> tres, va. One more. One more line. Last one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you might want to be connected first. One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Afterwards, we stopped at a traditional restaurant to eat one of my favorite Colombian meals, bandeja paisa. Oh, my <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Gracias. <laughs> Six months. That was a lot of food. But it was delicious. <laughs> The long drive back didn't go without pulsating Latin music and a stop in the neighboring town to enjoy the night view. Ah, okay. Hey, don't move, don't move. <laughs> Look the moon. That's the sun, man. <laughs> no, that's the sun. What are you talking about? <laughs> Titanic! <laughs> One hour away in San Geronimo is Carlos Valle, a coffee farmer whose tours speak of coffee history, agricultural methods, and prep you to experience the day as a traditional coffee farmer. My English is so bad. I only started learning English 18 months. 18 months? It's a small time and don't problem because it's possible you understand me. I, just I understand you better than you can understand me speaking Spanish. <laughs> All right, I got a really cool day for you today. I'm gonna be doing a coffee tour. Now, I don't drink coffee, but Colombia is undoubtedly one of the best exports of coffee. So what we're gonna do is a coffee tour where I get to grind and pick my own coffee beans and at the end drink it. And hopefully I like it because I, I don't drink coffee. But if I don't like it, Santiago is gonna drink my coffee. Anthony, yeah. coffee. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah. You look, today, three things for your learning my farm. First one, you recognize best quality coffee. Second, you ignore perfect techniques for preparing your coffees and the best techniques for you enjoy. Is the goat the animal introduced the humans for consumer drugs in the world? The arrieros is the typical people in Colombia coffee region. The origin for this hat don't is Panama, don't is Aguadas, is Manabi, Ecuador. Come on, your hat. This is my new look, I like this. This one is maybe sent on one rooster tail. The function for this one, protect your neck for the sun. The name, Poncho Omulera. This one is for many uses for us. For example, it's possible you use for blanket, for dry sweat, it's possible you use for toilet paper. Today, don't please because this poncho is mine. <laughs> wow, with the blue jacket, it's kind of work, it's kind of looking nice. The name for this one cloth is Paruma o Tapa Pinche. For this one, this one is for cover my small penis, my yeah. small pinche. The arrieros in the past has a special hole in your pants. One arriero is possible carry 15, 20 mules. In the moment that you want to piss, is like to piss, it's possible you, impossible you say, hey, please, everybody, very mule, stop, I want to piss. This was is impossible. Mm -hmm. The arrieros in the past, one phrase, one sentence, human in America Latina, walking and pissing. Out the paruma, Go the penis for hole and walking and pissing. Arre, hula, 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 hula. <laughs> Your pinchecito. Pinchecito is more, small than small. Okay. Smaller. S small, yeah. <laughs> Definitely I cover your pinchecito. Pinchecito, <laughs> that's my name. Come on, your basket. <laughs> I think it's really setting me up to work here. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm done. Anthony, what is a tree? more important things for you made in your life before you die one babies get married because you prepare you your your babies preserve your memory oh my father oh my grandfather oh That's my grand grandfather lineage lineage second Continue plant a tree the, plant a tree okay third write a book damn it i gotta write a book <laughs> today the today i help you for everything now I give for you one coffee seed for your plant. It's possible it's your first one plant. In the, in the time I arrive at my farm, I give for you juice for the slimy substance. You remember it's aphrodisiac drink. Tonight it's possible you made your babies. I think you I need to put out an ad and find someone to produce his baby with. How much baby one you made in your life? Many made and half. Two, three, four, five? Let's say four. Two oh. boys, two boys, All two right. girls. Let's go. Let's go. Two boys, two girls. Two boys, two girls. Two girls for you. Two girls. <laughs> Four babies. For one baby. One baby. Oh. No, don't put. Oh. One if baby. you put your penis in other place, the baby don't. Bo the baby don't born. <laughs> Three. And four. And four. And cover. And cover. 
Blessing or door blessing? <laughs> give, it a, give it a blessing. Yeah. All right, two years after you present me your babies and your book. All right? Yeah, fresh you have two years. <laughs> yeah, two years. This guy is so fascinating. I'm learning so much. The training begins. The training begins. When now is the time for your work to me. Okay. A little twist. Just give it a little twist. Yes. That's it. Put it in there. We move on. And you're working now. I'm working. I didn't even. Good I didn't, job. I didn't even discuss my my salary. Exactly. <laughs> no, no, no. The salary you you pay me. Oh. And you work. For Not me. even an internship. I'm just paying him. It's good that, business. It's good. good Carlos business. is a smart guy. Yeah. It's good business. Yeah, good business. <laughs> the perfect business. I hope I can at least get a business. cup of coffee at the end <laughs> for this effort. Hey friend, you is bad worker. Pick up more quantity, please. Right, I'm going. <laughs> fast. Fast. Okay, fast. Yeah, fast. So in one day, how, how much can you pick? Uh, you pick up 120 baskets. Per, 120 in, in nine baskets. hours. In nine, nine hours. hours. Nine hours. How much hours. I got now? Yeah. See, I pay you maybe thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Is that enough to get us back home? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Deal. It's a deal. <laughs> all right, friend. Don't work more. You are tired. Hard days work. And use your punch. You drive. You drive. Oh, yeah. You drive. <laughs> That's the way you use it. You move the machine on this one. Okay. So In the time, first. actually, as many coffee seed on this one. You use your hand for that. You start. Okay. Beans in first. Your harvest. My harvest for the day. Harbor worker. Oh, you brown beans and continue oh, peeling. Okay. Yes, oh, man. Well, my worker. I don't want you to have to yeah. You have to work. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's my first day on the job. This one is fresh. My worker now put the coffees on this one place. I'm going to go up. Yes. Yeah. You're flexible. Ah. Six times per day is uh, removed, removed for perfect diet. All right. Right. Perfect. Yeah. Day's work. Mm. This is how you do it. Yeah. Coffee yeah. snowman. Coffee snowman. <laughs> so your next batch of coffee is going to have a little bit of taste of Tony. <laughs> That's <laughs> perfect. Hey, friend. Aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac, all right. To my you, children. For you made your baby For stomach. our children. <laughs> to our children. It's a sticky substance coffee. It's slimy. Oh, it's delicious. The Arrieros coffee brand. You smell this one. Don't eat organics. It's orgasmic coffee. <laughs> Org <laughs> orgasmic coffee. <laughs> not, not, not organic. This will make you a man. <laughs> and not a father. <laughs> the best caffeine in the level roasted coffees is medium and little medium high. Six and five percent moisture is the best. Okay. For you recognize quality coffee on a future. Come on, you look. What is the color for this one coffee? Where is brown? Brown. What is the color for this one? Dark brown. Is this type? Dark. Many people in the world say, oh, the dark coffee is best. It's best because it's more strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah? It's and don't it's good for your body. This one is good. Because in the moment you go to the supermarket, you buy one coffee cup back, you prepare more quantity coffee cups for two industries. This one is good because it's possible you earn more money. In the black color, are so roasted dark coffee is a dark color. It's impossible you distinguish bad ones. This coffee are born produce cancers. So, your expression, it's very sweet. It doesn't taste like coffee. <coughs> Has nice. the coffee skin is sweet, mm. and I put lemongrass. I taste lemon, yeah. Citronella. I taste citron. Yeah, and honey bee. I taste all of for that. good action. I don't taste body. any coffee. I taste the lemon. I taste the citrus, and I taste the honey. Yeah. yeah. Remember, it's to the skin coffee. <laughs> Feel that? It's getting yeah. stronger. Ladies, or look out. 55 years old, drinks this every, every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> you use every time same quantity water. Depend, quantity coffee is the like for the coffees. For one strong, three spoon. Stronger, four spoon. Strongest, six spoon. Crazy, ten spoon. Ten spoon. <laughs> yeah, same quantity water. 
I now think. Is it good? Yeah. My coffee don't need sugar, it's sweeter. No, it's, Cheers. Cheers. It is sweet. This is coffee and milk. That's it. No sugar, don't just sugar. coffee and milk. It's cream. Yes, this is more my style. What type of coffee prefer you now? Give me the Give strongest me. coffee you have. A strongest or crazy? Please, Give me crazy. crazy. Give me crazy. crazy. How much a spoon? One full spoon. One? Oh no, you said for the crazy one is four. Two? Three? You say me in the time is a stop. Four? Oh, stop, stop, stop. stop. It's five? Don't, 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 don't. Five? Six? Seven? Eight? Oh boy. Nine? Ten spoon. Ten spoons. Yeah, for you exploit. <laughs> <laughs> this one, the problem is for you, friend. Mm. In the moment, you see, yes, this one. Mm. Tomorrow, you remove your underwear. It's on one <laughs> line to the bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> one skin mark. <laughs> <laughs> My underwear will have a skin mark tomorrow. Yeah, it's, when is it mark? What's your underwear? You squeeze is your future <laughs> coffee. <laughs> so disgusting. If you want a coffee tour with unique flair and personality, Carlos is the guy here. <laughs> That's 100% natural. Natural <laughs> coffee. <laughs> Colombian coffee. <laughs> and now this is the crazy coffee, right? It's so delicious coffee, this one. You friend, you look. Only for three coffees. One. Two, three. It's a strong. It's different, dark than a strong. For your future skin mark. <laughs> Can't do that while I'm drinking. It's good. Not my style, though. Don't. It's too strong. <laughs> this dessert is so good and then really typical in Colombia coffee region. It's mature plantain, drying in brown sugar, natural sugar cane, panela. Panela. Mixer with cheese, cow cheese. Delicious. Come on, another place. Come on. Another place, okay. It's a romantic place for you. <laughs> ah. This one is typical lunch for the, the to the paisa people. The name for this lunch is Fiambre Paisa. Prepare this one food, every food for separate. Cover on this one leaves because this leaves protect food for a long time. Introduce in your pack and carry at your trip. Beef, sauce, rice, eggs, yuca and potato, indigenous roof. It's delicious. The Arrieros coffee packs, 80 grams, cherry, honey, Change coffee. Perfect. And, friend, my heart. Your heart? For you, don't forget me. Is it soap? This one, no, this one is panela, brown sugar. My book to the Arrieros. My point, 90 versus 90 pictures. I signal for you now. Noviembre 24. I give for you my Diarrieros history, legacy on my Paisa ancestrals. Thank you so much, friend, for you visit my farm. I wait you in my farm. Do you, do you remember my farm in your farm? In two years, after two years, two you portraits. visit my farm yes. for your harvest, and you present me your babies and your books. <laughs> yes? Yes. So we have reached another climactic ending to another amazing trip. And today's adventure is going to be doing some ATVing. And uh, this was a hard choice because the Medellin has a lot of other activities to offer. Uh, one of the choices was paragliding, but I just did paragliding a few weeks ago in Albania, and they also had extreme bungee jumping, which I did in Thailand um, a couple of trips ago. Plus, those things are kind of like short activities. You go, you jump, and it's pretty much done. With these things, we're gonna have it for a few hours, so this is gonna be really, really fun, epic ending to another great, amazing trip. <laughs> gonna protect the shoes. Looks like I belong in Mad Max. I'm ready. You're ready. I'm ready. With the shower cap and all. This is my best outfit. This is bottom is the four wheel drive. If I say four, it's bottom in. If I say two, this is bottom out. You got it. Get 
you got the shower cap. You're ready. I'm ready. It's not too bad. No, for me, you need more. Uh, you need you more. Toothpaste. I'm good. You need more. Look. No. <laughs> good to go. So clean, bro. <laughs> this is perfect. Rescue good. team is here. I think we're back in action. Thank you. This is so messy, but I love it. Hit the arrow! It was incredibly fun and really messy. <laughs> I was rusty, man. It's been like four or five years since I've done it in Costa Rica. I got, I got banged up pretty like bad. Like what? Five years? Yeah, maybe four or five years ago. These things are <laughs> massively strong and intimidating, <laughs> but man, yeah, yeah, it was really so much fun. Well, that's it. <laughs> the aftermath. I made fun of him for ordering the galoshes, but maybe I should have done the same because my sneakers are destroyed. <laughs> Oh my God. Maybe I'm glad I didn't order the uh, galoshes. <laughs> <laughs> After a much needed cleanup, I celebrated my last night on the town with Santiago and Melissa. Get home safe, bro. You too, man. See you. Another great vacation comes to an end. I simply love Colombia and was genuinely sad to go back home. I didn't want the trip to end. And that's because this being the start of doing shorter trips and Medellin having so much to offer, I felt it came to an end just when I got started. I also absolutely love the friendliness of Colombian people and not to mention the food being some of my favorite. And it's so inexpensive. It's interesting how an airport pickup can turn into a friendship. Santiago, thank you for showing me around. Your personality and company made my visit memorable. Lastly, if you like travel documentaries like this, give it a like, share, and subscribe. You can even support the channel via PayPal if you like. So, until the next one. Yeah. <laughs> That's the video yeah, okay. behind the scenes. <laughs> hey, you wanna ride? <laughs> oh my god, no me gusta ese clavado. This tour done is for you. You don't yeah. like COVID. Done. <laughs> bye, you guys. don't like COVID. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Got it? I got it. <laughs> Hey, hey, be careful, be careful, bro! <laughs> is, that, is that right? Okay. Isn't that right? Wow. Take two! It's good? Yeah, it's delicious, I love it. Yeah. You remember, prepare the coffee with my milk! <laughs> <laughs>